Hey Aries, this is your general tarot reading for Aries, sun, moon and ascendant to a rising sign for the month of July. Aries, brace yourself because this is going to be a very, very powerful month as the first card hops out there. We have a lot going on. On July 2nd, there is a solar eclipse, new moon in Cancer happening in the fourth house. The what? The fourth house where your north node is, the north node of destiny, where you are following a path. And with the new moon there, solar eclipse, you might intuitively start to find a whole new path towards your destiny. So that's a really, really good thing. On July 16th, we have the full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn, where your south node is, in the 10th house, where you might release a whole lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to do with how you have worked so hard and all the stuff we talk about, getting your career together, being responsible, reputable, standing up and taking absolute control of some situation in your life and making it happen. But you probably realize this month that you've become so good at being in charge and being in control that you've become a tyrant in your own life. <laughs> that you've said, okay, I'm going to get myself fit. You got yourself fit and now you're like this drill sergeant and you can't get a minute's peace away from yourself. Well, the lunar eclipse is going to end that and make things a little bit softer where you can chill and be a bit more relaxed. Same thing with your career. Up at the crack of dawn, getting things done, pushing ahead, being ambitious. And you're saying to yourself, oh my God, if I worked for me, if I was my own boss, I would have left a long time ago. <laughs> that is one hard bitch to work for. And you're, again, letting that go. You're changing and becoming softer towards yourself, softer towards how you're motivating yourself in this world. And being a little bit of a, a being less of a tyrant on yourself and being a bit gentler, being a bit more caring and a bit more nurturing, being that one boss, hopefully you've all had that one boss that was really kind, really sweet. We all kind of probably took advantage of them by going on the internet and pretending we were working, that type of thing. But you have to become a little bit softer in the harder parts of your life where you have been pushing ahead and pushing really strong. Just be a little bit gentler now with yourself and I don't know, take your feelings more into consideration because that is exactly what's going to arrive around the lunar eclipse on July 16th, where it's like, chill, baby, chill. Don't be so hard on yourself. My God, if somebody did that to you, you would have punched them by now. <laughs> so you're, you can't do that to yourself. So it's really nice. It's really, really good. Now, I want to touch upon something here too, Aries. Um, with the lunar eclipse happening in the 10th house, if you find or recognize that as you're pushing ahead and trying to get ahead in some place in your life, most likely your career, most likely being a parent or being somebody who is a responsible person for someone else, see, you know how it works. Uh, if you have been kind of putting up a front or a facade in any way that isn't reflective of the real you inside now because you've changed and you've grown you've become softer you've become more in touch with your emotions that's for sure and you're recognizing that that's where you need to be going also more intuitive softer gentler giving yourself more of a break giving other people a bit of a break uh, just being more nurturing in general um, and if you recognize that you're putting on a front that's the opposite of that, try to mend that before the lunar eclipse really kicks in. Because what could happen here is that somebody could come right in and try to expose you in some way. Or, or point you out and say, you claim to be this, that, and the other, but that's all front. Deep down, you're not like that. Or deep down, you're this, that, or the other. So in a negative way, that could be a shocking thing to you, where you feel very raw and vulnerable because somebody exposed you. So if you can get ahead of the posse 
and start dismantling some of the facade basically that no longer works for you. It could be having lots of fancy cars or wearing fancy things just because you feel it looks the part or being in with a group of people because you feel it. this is the powerful group, it looks the part. Let it go because it, as I said, somebody might come in and say you don't belong here or you're putting up a front, okay? But on a positive level, it could turn out that other people might turn to you and say, you know what, Aries, sometimes you come across as really hard and cold and disciplined and like the warrior, you know? But I see now that underneath, you're actually really soft. You're really open to so many things. You're emotional. You get it. You're intuitive. I hadn't pegged you as a psychic person or an intuitive person or somebody that cares deeply about animals or... Uh, art or so I wouldn't or I wouldn't have thought of you that way well now on a positive front they could be coming and saying I like yeah as this card jumps out I like the change that I'm seeing in you behind that facade I see the greater softness so it can play out one way or the other and it's better for you to know this in advance so you as I said you can dismantle any of the facades that you once had to put on to get ahead. The, the suits, as I said, that you had to wear to look the part, kind of fake it till you make it kind of shit. Let that go now. Let it go. Yeah. Because we've got, we've got newer energy coming in for you, Aries, that's a whole lot better and that will be respected a whole lot more. You see, in your endeavor to be more respected, to look the part in your life and to be in control of something, the respect comes now because it's flipping over. The respect comes now because you're gentler. It's kind of not leading with an iron fist, but leading with an open hand. And that's, that's where you get more progress, particularly in your career, or if you're leading a team somewhere. Anyway, so that's the big vibe. And I'm gonna say this really super quickly, and hopefully if I say it fast, we'll pretend it didn't happen. We've also got Mercury retrograding this month. Yeah, I said it, I said it. Mercury retrograding this month. You know what that means? Every time Mercury's retrograding, you have to pay extra attention to your travel. Uh, go over the details, make sure you have your passport, all your visas, documents, make sure that the car that you're driving is getting a service, it's checked, full of oil, petrol, whether gasoline, whatever. Because this is a month where transport, travel, communication also could get weird. And I'll also say this to you, Aries, this is a creative month, and I'll get there in a moment for you. Don't be in such a rush to launch something this month. If all the pieces aren't in place, if it's not perfect, don't say, oh, well, it's summertime now, got to get this done, I'm under pressure. Okay, it's not perfect, but shove it out there and see how it goes. It'll probably go shit, probably, and I need to warn you of that just to be fair to you. Do your best to kind of have a rethink, a review with Mercury retrograding in the fifth house of what it is you're creating and say, wait now, wait now, before I put this out, before I start this class, before I teach something, before I release something on social media, before, just let me think about this. Is it half-assed? If it's half-assed, then somebody's going to serve half my ass on a plate later. So the energy is go back, go back, go back and fix everything and make it better before maybe releasing or launching or personalizing something in August. It might be better for you to do that. Yeah, so travel documents, everything, communication, letters, emails, messages, everything crystal clear. Otherwise... You, you're, you're not going to enjoy it, okay? Now, for those of you with children, I just want to say this. This could be a major melt moment. A lot of, in, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of the kids are on their summer school break. So you have to go back and maybe reorganize. Oh my God, I have to rethink. I'd forgotten how bad it was last year trying to organize shit for, the, for this summer. Okay, yeah. Uh, and, and you're rethinking a lot of things to do to have fun and to make sure that your children are having fun too. So there could be a lot of focus on that. I do want you to pay a bit of attention to one thing. 
if your children are saying, oh my God, I'd love to do maybe this really expensive sport, and you're saying, are you sure about this is expensive? Before I buy all this equipment, are you sure you want to do it? Yeah, it's the best, it's the best. I've always wanted to do this. Are you sure? Yeah. So you go, you enroll them in classes, you buy all the expensive stuff and you say, right, you're starting on Tuesday and they say, oh, I'm over that, not into it now. And you're just saying, oh dear God, give me patience because if you give me strength, you'll also need to give me bail money. <laughs> so there's a kind of energy of, you know, just double check for those of you with children that if they say they want something, just say, are you, are you sure? Can you start it? See how you feel about it? And then maybe later we'll buy all the equipment, you know? So that's for those of you with children. But it's a really great month. We enter the month anyway with sun in Cancer. So there's a big focus on home, family, maybe thinking about organizing trips uh, to see family, but again, don't half-ass this kind of if you want to go to see family and if you have to take a plane journey or something think about it first how do you want to do this don't rush it because then it'll all get stressed you know so sit down and say well how do i feel about this do i want a short trip or do i want an extended trip because what you think you want now might all change when Mercury retrogrades and you're saying, oh my God, I've told everybody, yes, I'll spend two weeks there. I'd be much happier if I just spent the day there. So just just kind of really sit before making travel plans, maybe to go to see family in some cases. Uh, and maybe it is time for you to reach out more and communicate on a deep and meaningful way with family. Um, in terms of your home life, there could be a few coin being spent in your home, in your home business, but, but show caution again. It, if you have a plan to do up your home or even buy a new home or rent a new home, think within your budget. I know it might look like, oh, I need this, I have to have that and I'll throw my coin at that and I'll figure it out later. I can't afford this big rental property, but it's just above my budget and I'll figure it out later. Well, later might mean that you get screwed where you have to take a second job or really forfeit some real pleasures in your life to pay for this place or this thing that you bought for your home. So again, it's just, it's just don't let yourself be carried away by everything this month, particularly with spending in the home, particularly with children spending on them, and particularly with being in a rush to kind of get everything done all at once. Don't, don't let that affect your reality, your clear decision making, okay? But good news, I have to say, July 1st, Mars goes into Leo and I can almost feel the sighs, the collective sigh of relief, Mars going into a fellow fire sign for you in the fifth house. If you want to do anything this month, Aries, really focus on creativity, having fun, thinking about how you're going to make your next big moves, not actually taking action on them, but thinking about it, planning things out, and you'll do a whole lot better. There's great vibes happening this month. You're going to feel good, and I think that's the point. You're going to feel so good that you could get swept away and carried away by committing to something, maybe a contract that you're saying, oh my God, little did I know <laughs> what I was doing. So just focus on that a lot. But there could be great energy for starting new homes, starting maybe even for some of you a new family. That could be very nice for you. Um, so it's all, it's all quite, there's, there's actually a lot going on Aries. And what I would say to you this month is, Rethink everything. It might be a wonderful idea. I'm not saying the ideas you have aren't brilliant. What I'm saying is, if you want to get the magic going here this month, you stop, think, stop again, think again, and repeat, 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 until you can't do it any longer, until everything makes perfect sense. That's, that's where the magic is this month. Might sound very boring or weird, but I mean, you don't want to get yourself into trouble later. 
So this is practical magic for you. But where I was going somewhere else. Too. Yes, of course. Fifth house is where we have great expressions of love and romance. Doing things with your partner, for those of you in a relationship, with your children, for those of you who have children that are great. Feeling like the sun is shining on your relationship. So there'll be that little, you know, bling moment. It'll be feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. But for the singles too, it could be a great opportunity to find new romance. A new, real, deep romance maybe with somebody. Maybe towards the end of the month even, some of you could find romance on a vacation. Or with somebody who's a little bit older than you. Somebody maybe even from a foreign culture. So there, there's a lot that could be happening. It's exciting. I, feel, I do feel the good vibes. And you know what I also feel here, Aries? I feel that a lot of you have started to notice. Maybe, I don't know, is it because you watch my videos? Or maybe it's just something that you've just realized in your own self. You've noticed that when you keep shit together... When you're being really responsible with not throwing money here and there and not diving in like you probably would have before, you do better. And even probably, as I'm saying, without me saying it, I feel that you're just not cautious, not kind of afraid, but more like, I've figured this out. I don't jump in anymore like I used to. I have it figured out. And I like that. And as I'm tuning into your energy, I feel a lot of you kind of saying, I've learned the hard way, <laughs> but I have it figured out. I have that lesson, and that lesson has been learned, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I feel that kind of, a whole lot of, oh yeah, oh yeah, I've learned that lesson. So, no jumping in, yeah. So, let's get a few cards going on here, Aries. I like the energy at the moment for you. I like it. Uh, some challenges with authority this month, maybe even family members, for some of you, it could be a little bit of concern or worry about a, an older family member, possibly even a male older family member, but that's why it's worth staying in touch, maybe why it's worth organising a few trips to go and visit some family members, maybe that you haven't touched base within a while. You don't want there to be great distance there, you know. Um, but that's kind of nice. To, I will caution you about one more thing. If you're, if you're going head to head with any authority this month, banks, government, law, anything like that, any, anywhere where somebody has the ability to deny you access to something that you want, will you tread carefully, Aries? Because it could, could get weird, you know? Don't want things to get weird. Let's get a few cards going on before this gets weird. So, let's do this. Okay, a few coming out there. Yeah. Few came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they all came out. Oh, I didn't realize that. And the last card there. So, Aries, we have all the cards. Let's go over now, my love, to the. I keep getting so confused. No, it's this side. I did this last month. What is it with you? I keep getting confused with what side it is on. Ta da! The big grand overview. Yeah, I'm sure it's that side, yeah. Anyway, so, Aries, we're opening up with shocking truths. Shocking truths, right from the start of the month. Where the heck are these coming from? Shocking, shocking truths. But it's like the truth is out and there's no more hiding from this. The truth is out and I, I, I can't run from this or I can't hide from this. Okay, okay. An uncomfortable truth right from the start of the month seems to be revealed. Now that could be like the early effect of the lunar eclipse in Capricorn. We touched upon this Aries that somebody could come out and say you're not who you said you were. So you're, I don't know, you've started your own business, you're doing, so I, I don't know, you're doing something and you've put on a good front but somebody comes in and says yeah, your website looks great, your, your business cards look great, your social media page looks great, but you're working from your garage. And you're like, yeah, because this is what you have to do when you're starting a business. So there, And it might be a source of embarrassment for you, Aries. 
um, somewhere along the line that you should take time out to listen to what's happened there and not be in such a hurry to kind of pull back the curtain and say, oh, you saw nothing, pay no attention, nothing happened here, keep, move on, move on, nothing to see. Sit with what truth is coming, it seems, at the start of the month and don't try to brush it under the rug or brush it aside or over explain it and say, oh, well, the reason for that is this and the it's time, Aries, to be open and honest. And the funny thing is, it's the right thing to do. It's where success comes. So what needs to be said that's open and honest? For me, I'm getting a strong thing. I'm thinking that if it's something you're creating, certainly, if it's something you're trying to do in your career, it's time to be really super open and honest with yourself uh, so that you don't miss out on opportunities or that you're not sleeping on the job. You're not sleeping on an opportunity that's coming in for you that could bring you big success. This is the feeling of you're being handed some great new direction. Don't be asleep and don't be kind of stuck in a mode of even staying small or staying quiet or wanting to stay in the background. I mean, Aries, with the new moon, solar eclipse in Cancer, there definitely is a new opportunity happening for you. And you can't be shy about it. That's one thing. It's happening in the fourth house, and this is the energy of four. Your ideas are great ideas, it seems. What I'm getting here is a lot of doubt, a lot of not believing. Here, this is going to sound very strange, Aries, but I'm going to go for it. It's you're, You've great potential in your life, great potential to do many things, particularly in career, in career, maybe particularly within your family, finding a new place to live, a new home, changing a family dynamic. You've a lot of potential that it seems you keep missing opportunities to even build on those successes. And this month it seems you're going to be, right from the start of the month, almost hit hard to prod you. It's like, you know, you're in that bed all in a state of chaos, trying to hide, trying to meditate, trying to arm um, your way out of this situation. No, prod, get up, get up. There are things out there that you need to be doing. Career opportunities, you need to be moving on some way in your life. You need to be awake because something is happening and you need your intuition to be seeing and noticing something going on. Yeah, very strong. Also with a family member, wake up. You're not seeing something. You're not seeing something that's a reality. And I'm going to come in and prod you and prod you with something sharp, a truth or a real eye-opening moment that wakes you right up because it's like your intuition is needed here. There's this feeling of uh, not using your intuition well. You're, you're using your intuition focusing on things that in some cases don't matter right now. And now it's saying, come back, come back, come back. You, you want that intuition to be working on new paths in your life, new homes, new family issues that could be coming up, um, new places to live, new ways to be intuitive in your life but certainly new, new meaningful opportunities that bring you happiness. New opportunities that take you out of feeling sad, even for some of you. There's a healing coming. There's, a, there's an opportunity to heal. Now, I can't promise this. I don't like going down that road here on general readings. But if you've been concerned about your health, this could be a real moment where you're given a bit of a wake up, go see a medical professional. 
Let's start treating this properly. Let's start taking care of this because it's time now for you to begin healing. And particularly Aries, not just physical healing, but emotional healing, psychological healing, psychic healing. It's time. It's time to, to treat this in an, in an adult and responsible way. It might be time to go speak to somebody if you feel that things have overwhelmed you. This is the month where new healing begins. And it might be a moment where you have to go back and relive certain things that happened. I mean, with the lunar eclipse closing off things in your 10th house, it might be a time where you're, with all the retrograde energy too, to really think about so many things in your life from your past. Maybe even from your hometown, from your childhood. It's time to go back and resolve, resolve, resolve some things that have stayed so unharmonious for a long time in your life. It's like the situation ended, but the feelings didn't. You've been long since gone away from that time in your life, but yet you've held on to the emotions and the things. This is where you have to release lunar eclipse, release some of that heavier stuff that, that forced you to become, I'm going to say this Aries, this is why it's weird, like a, a disciplinarian in your life, where you've been way too hard on yourself, way too hard, unnecessarily so, where you've been whipping your own back, over and over again. Why? That has to go. And that's a big thing that is going now. And I do want to say that there could be some great healing coming for those of you. If you do go back and get in touch with certain family members that you love, contact them, maybe make some travel plans to see them, spend a bit of time with them, talking to them. There could be some great truth and insight brought from a family member this month who suddenly gives you clarity. They might say, you might say, oh, do you remember the time I feel so ashamed and embarrassed or I feel so hurt or blah, blah, blah by that time. And they might say, well, God, that's not how I remember it. You know, I thought you did great. I, I stood by you or I think that you handled that really well. And again, oh, here we come, Aries. I feel that's a strong emotion. I felt that. There's a kind of a shocking moment where, even for some of you, you're told that I didn't see it like that. It's like you might want to go back to an, and apologize to somebody, maybe even an ex or a family member. And when you do, they say, oh my God, I, I would thank you for saying that, but it didn't leave the same impression on me that it did on you, but I'm very grateful you apologized. So there might be a real moment where you say, Wow, I had projected and assumed that they were also feeling as guilty about a certain thing as I was. And you find out, maybe they weren't. And you were carrying a lot of this heavy stuff that was unnecessary. Nobody else was really kind of... You were giving yourself the worst time, basically. That's, that's where it's at. It's time now to let that go. And like I said, a family member could help you with that. Or somebody in your tribe, somebody that you really care about and love. Now here I see mid-month. There, the, there is the other side of this coin, though, too. I have to say it. There is this thing of family and a home situation being in a rush to either fix things, being in a rush to find a new home, do up your home, decorate it, rearrange some details of your family situation. There's a rush. And I would hold off on that because when you rush in, you're not going to get a great solution here. If you rush in to try to challenge somebody within the family this month, this is not going to work out great for you, Aries. That's why we have to say slow down and rethink, rethink, rethink. This is a moon and Libra card where you have to go over your emotions with a fine tooth comb and probe them and, and say, could I do this in a more harmonious way? If I have something to say to this person, 
Could I be more tactful? Could I see their point of view and mine before I make a decision on what I'm going to say here? So take take a lot into consideration, Aries. Don't charge in. And I'm just feeling this so strongly, Aries. Please do your best not to be signing home contracts, buying new homes. Try not to be moving this month and try not to be committing yourself to renting a property or, or, or engaging in the work services of somebody to do up your home, like a, a technician, a plumber or somebody. If it can be put off this month, please try because it's money. Money's the big thing here. Uh, you could overspend, get over enthusiastic about your spending. You, you could feel that you're talked into something too, talked into spending. And you really should. Now, if you're wise, Aries, this month, be like this card. Sit down, stay cool, and be in two minds about an offer that could come your way. Now, I know with the new moon in Cancer, solar eclipse, this is very strong, where there could be new offers coming in, new places to go, just whole new directions in your life. But this is not the month to jump, as I said. This is rather the month for you to hold it up, feel it out and say, OK, let me examine this. Let me look at this. I've received news that could be potentially good for me financially, but it could also mean I have to spend a few extra coin let me examine this. Let me think long and hard about this. But I say a second opportunity. There's an opportunity, really opportunities to do with creating new things and maybe making money off those creations. And again, the, some of you being enticed, invited to travel, invited to go away, maybe even invited to go on a vacation, but it's about you're being drawn, come, maybe family members saying, come, you know, come stay with us. Or to, you know, when I said that, I was thinking of The Shining. You remember the two twins? Come play with us. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could get a bit like that for some of you if your family are a bit kind of weird. I, I don't know, sometimes that happens. But you have to think about this. It, it's the strong energy of being enticed, being drawn to do something. And... You're strongly feeling it. And I think it's, the, the funny thing is, I think it's a good opportunity. Two opportunities that could be great for you to make money and to get your ideas and maybe go up a gear in your life in some way. They, they will be good. And I see that you'll probably want to move with them. But if you can postpone, Aries, as much as you can, until don't postpone the big moves until maybe mid next month this is a time to go through well what does that mean what does this offer mean what would the contract look like if this is a collaboration what would that look like if you want to rent me business space or you do something what would that look like what would happen if this blah 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 go over the details Aries the small print the small details um and yet it's saying, don't be afraid, come out and engage with these new opportunities because they will bring you success. So that there is success, but go slowly into them. Because again, I feel that it's strong. It's strong about moving home, moving, a family situation is changing. There is a strong change in home and family this month. And... It could be very uncomfortable towards the end of the month for you to feel pressured into committing to some home change, family change. But don't bow under the pressure. Don't do that. And certainly don't feel under pressure to be handing money over, paying for things. Again, I'm, I can't underline this any more than I am, Marys. This is a month of not really taking action, but taking very strong commitment to considering what's been offered to you. And if you do that, I see the strength, the magic 
fire king, and you are the fiery one, Aries, ruled by fire. This is being in your full power, in your full intuition, in your full strength. This is maybe somebody also entering your life towards the end of the month who is powerful in their life, who does have their shit together, who is a strong person in some way, shape or form that you have a lot of regard or respect for. And they might at the end of the month be helping you through something. It could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, very strong Leo energy this month. So either way, I see that you could be getting a good bit of assistance from one of the strong fiery characters this month. Strong Leo influence. Leo is definitely helping you out. Leo is bringing positive vibes to you this month. Create, create, get your ideas together, have fun, engage in romance. If you're being offered a boat to travel into your destiny this month, know that they gave you the boat but didn't give you the oars. So don't unmoor that boat, you know, keep, keep your boat tied to the harbour, kind of mooring, until you're ready to go into your beautiful destiny, which I do believe is beginning some way, shape or form this month, Aries, with two very significant offers coming for you. So I love it. I love it. Aries, I got cut out there. Always the same story. Aries, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, my beautiful. And you know what to do to get the deeper, deeper insights? You come to the Vimeo readings where we open up everything in greater detail. The deep read, all linked down there below. Come along again this month and we'll figure it all out. We'll talk about the usual. We'll talk about those of you in a relationship, what's going on there. The singles, to see if there's any love magic happening this month. Uh, career and money, strong themes this month with career, definitely. Family, friends, more strong themes there. And anything else that we didn't touch upon here in the general reading areas, we'll open it all right out in the deep read. All linked in there, as I said. I'll be looking forward to seeing you over there. Aries, my beautiful, have a wonderful month. And I'm going to leave you, as always, with all my love. And a great, great big kiss from me to you. Mwah. Until next month, my beauty. Bye.